to cut the miters and technically to do all kind of a cutting with the porcelain it's always good to use a little bit of water just get the right blade we're using this blade that we're getting in Home Depot it's not expensive and uh, deliver the results as you can see we're cutting in miters as we're showing you right now just make sure you put a little bit of water on the mix I always first cut my piece to size in 90 and then trim my miter size with the angle grinding by hand with a water spray bottle or in this case we're using the hose that we have right here on the house available so uh, just don't do too much pressure go slow try to keep your edge clear don't touch exactly if you can look on the on the video i don't i don't touch all the way to the edge it's very close but it's let's say a 32 of an inch um, to reach the actual corner because in porcelain it's very difficult i what i do i cut it as you can see with my blade and then i use a polishing pad to get rid of that extra 32 and reach my 45 angle sharp corner as a knife technically but i do it with the polishing pad because the, this is a little risky and may create you a chip so we're gonna do it um, with that technique we're gonna cut it as you can see we cut cutting all the way right now with our this giving that little space in between the edge and the blade and now once we cut it we put our pad zero grit on the same iron grinder lower speed to the lowers of the machine and then you just rub your pad on your angle try to keep it steady and follow your miter then you reach it all the way to the edge that you want it then use some kind of a straight rule just to check it if it's straight and you're ready to go also when you do the cutting with the blade just keep in mind don't go full speed with the machine try to get a, a variable speed angle grinder because you it's gonna perform better if you work between 15 and 2500 rpms 